Hi, Intuitive D1111 here, Deanna here. Thank you guys so much for being a part of our Dabasar Seed family, y'all. Um, thank you guys for taking time to like the videos that you enjoy, as well as subscribing and commenting. That does enter you to win a mini reading. Thank you guys for your patience in me getting uh, your readings out to you, because I have reopened my Etsy. The link is below. Okay, so what do we have here? It says, I see you in my future being my wife or husband, us having kids here. It says, uh, my karmic knows that we've been keeping in contact. This karmic's out here flirting and connecting with other people. And it says, I'm jealous and possessive of who you're talking to. <laughs> what the hell? All right, so... This is giving me like Ten of Cups energy, right? So there definitely is somebody that has uh, been thinking about long term when it comes towards you. But they could have been in another situation. Either they were or they currently are. Okay. Um, that's what I'm seeing here. So for a lot of you guys, what I'm getting is like a third party knows about you guys. Okay. Okay. Um, maybe they've gotten some type of information on you or they've been searching and looking you up, but they know. But whoever it was that this person is dealing with has other people. They've been out here flirting, hooking up, you know, messing around with God knows who. But yet somebody is very jealous and possessive over who you're talking to because ultimately they see you as the person that they could have everything with um this is somebody that does enjoy spending time with you okay this is someone that is very drawn to you and it doesn't have to just be you know it's not just uh lust right or it's not just outward appearances um but there's also something about the way that you make this person feel or there is just this energy that around you is very loving right um you feel like home to this person this is definitely someone um that enjoys sharing meals or drinks with you uh someone could definitely like somebody's perfume or cologne um somebody also could really enjoy somebody's smile okay someone could have a really nice smile um there's a very like healing and soothing energy that this person feels when it comes to you um not saying y'all don't have another side right when provoked but ultimately i mean because you know sweet and spicy sweet and spicy all day right <laughs> but somebody is thinking about a future when it comes to you here um, it has a third party over here. I don't know. And they feel in tripping, whatever it is. Tell me more for the collective. And as always, you guys, only take what resonates and leave what doesn't here. So we have burnout. It says having too many irons in the fire, not taking care of yourself, lack of control, all work, no life here. So somebody could just be throwing themselves into work right now. I feel like this person here doesn't quite know how that they can fix a connection with you, especially uh, if there's been some type of misunderstandings that you guys have had. So um, somebody could feel a, a overwhelmed within their job or maybe it's just something repetitive or it's something that um, They're not really sure whether or not they like what it is that they're doing, but I feel like whatever this is here, I'm also seeing someone is burnt out on dealing with people that really just want to play around and are not serious. That's what I'm seeing here too. So somebody could be burnt out of a third party situation or somebody that, you know, has a wandering eye or they're always doing the most. Okay. So we have rare gift here. Yeah, somebody is seeing you guys as a gift. Okay, some of you guys could be receiving a gift as well. It says seize the opportunities, unique gifts, bring luck and success, the power to attract wealth here. So 
whatever situation you guys are in, especially when it comes to finances, I feel like this is about, you know, opportunities where you can work smarter, not harder, right? But in the beginning, there's always that hard work that has to be done. While, you know, because a lot of times, you know, people will start with something while they're, they'll keep something solid while they're developing something else on the side. So this is just saying to, you know, make space for your dreams, for your goals. Um, but of course, you know, doing whatever it is that you need to do as far as meeting your basis needs in the meantime, right? So what else? Yeah, we have I miss eating with you. So somebody miss having meals with you. They miss spending time with you. Um, they miss your laughter. OK, um, yeah, it says I wasn't ready to be with you, but I didn't want to let you go. So someone definitely <sighs> it's like they wanted to hold on to you. But at the same time, they just felt like they were not ready or it could even just be the energy of somebody that was um Needing to look at something from a different perspective, right? Especially when it comes to their past connections. And who it is that they've been dealing with. Okay, it says, I'm sorry I'm not there for you now. So someone could be thinking about you guys a lot throughout the day. They could even be thinking about you at work. Uh, they could have been connecting with somebody else. I feel like that situation for a lot of you, um, it could very well be falling through. Um, it's saying that your intuition is right here. Okay. So definitely pay attention to that. We have, I really do miss how me and you used to be. So someone's definitely missing y'all. They're missing being around you guys, connecting with you here. Um, but this is giving me the Ten of Wands energy. So it's like someone could have felt like they were putting a lot of effort within the situation and they were kind of carrying everything solo and the other person wasn't really holding up their end of the weight. OK, so whether this is how you guys felt within a situation or whether that's how maybe, you know, somebody is feeling with Karmish or Kwan, take it as it resonates here. Yeah, we have separation situation. It says the silence is killing me here. And then we have boss mode, right? Work, entrepreneurship, career moves, working on your career success, earning money through work. So I feel like you guys are focused on your abundance at this time. Um, I do feel like there is somebody else that also is, you know, building their wealth, trying to create stability as well. But somebody is real. I don't know. Somebody's real curious about what it is that y'all got going on. They're curious about whether or not you're serious about somebody else. They feel like they should have been honest and spoken their truth. For some of you, they could have been worried that you wouldn't accept them if you knew the truth. You know, everybody makes mistakes, right? But it's all about the fact of whether or not somebody has um, the intention and is putting in the effort to make changes. Because I do believe that people can change if they want to, right? It's just about them actually taking action towards that. So, like, if you're in a relationship with somebody here and you see that, well, the common thing that we normally see, right, is cheating or letting other people get involved or whatever it is. It's like if you continue to choose that person then you are choosing to rebuild trust with them again. You're also choosing on whether or not, um, you know, they're being trustworthy with their actions. And if they're being honest, and if they're understanding of the fact that, of course, you know, you're going to be very inquisitive when it comes to them because of how they've treated you in the past. But it also has to be an energy of not holding that over someone's head the entire connection or else 
um, it'll just be miserable. And then you might as well disconnect anyway. So if you really feel like you can never trust somebody again, because I'm, I'm speaking to somebody right now, whoever this is for, it's just like, you know what? If you feel like this is somebody that is cheating on you or is going to cheat again, and, and they are uh, constantly holding secrets, then you already know what your answer is. Either you be serious about believing that they're going to change and you look at their actions, their intentions, and see if um, it's measuring up or you have to pull yourself out of that situation. All right? Because I know we have different people. Some people are married watching. Some people are separated. Some people are, you know, dating. Whatever the situation is. And not only that, you can tell when somebody is moving different, right? Because they start becoming cold. They start becoming complacent. They start, uh, you know, the little sweet things they were doing before. They might not be doing that as much anymore. The communication drops off. They'll try to dodge you either with their behavior or with their eyes. Like there's different indicators that you have when you're dealing with somebody. And then for others of you, hey, you know what? It is what it is. Cheating is a deal breaker. You're done. But, you know, I feel like there are people that, and there's no judgment, but it's like, hey, if, if that's what you, if you, somebody has done that before, then that's what you have to really, you know, ask yourself whether or not you're going to um, entertain that again. Or whether or not you're going to, um, you know, believe that somebody's actually wanting to change here because I do feel like someone does like attention from others and I do feel for some of you guys this is a type of energy where um somebody will in fact try to use somebody else as revenge to try to flaunt in the other one's face when they uh, when there's a disagreement or there's a disconnection which is very immature, right? It's the type of energy of, oh, okay, so I'm going to show you. I'm going to go out here and hook up with this person and that person, and how are you going to feel about that? That's some demonic-ass energy. Yeah, it says I act immature and I need to grow the F up, period. <laughs> okay, then we have renewal here, Okay. Powerful inner transformation here. Release of energy and emotions playing with fire here. So somebody is really looking at their actions. Or this is the divine calling you to look at somebody's actions here. Because someone definitely had a lot of secrets. I mean, damn, the last reading was crazy as hell. That's not going to be everybody's story. You only take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But if you're feeling something is off with somebody and you're watching their behavior, it's like for some of you guys, you might not even know that person has a secret addiction, right? For some of you, it could be SEX. For others of you, it really could be, you know, some type of substance, some type of harder substance, right? And a lot of people just keep that within and um, or they try to keep that hidden. But for some of you, somebody went towards somebody where they had a shared addiction with that person. So they could have been getting high together. OK. And doing God knows what. And I'm not just talking about high off trees, baby. I'm talking about, you know, the white stuff. OK, put it where it fits. <clears throat> And this is like the high priest or the high priestess energy. So it's like, it's about time. Like somebody could be very intimidated or irritated by your intuition into a situation. Because for some of you, you could have known that somebody was trying to make you jealous. Or you could have known that, you know, clearly somebody was hiding that they were dealing with somebody else. Or you could have known that somebody was... um you know, not where they said that they they were going, right? Or that they were being evasive because they did not want to be honest about the truth of what was going on with them or what they were doing. I don't know. Somebody could have been dealing with a blonde and a brunette. 
or for some of you two brunettes, somebody was doing entirely too much. So now somebody could be overwhelmed with all the different situations that they got themselves into because someone could have felt like it was okay to just be playing around with different energies or different people. And they're seeing that they're missing out on a blessing, which is you collective, because they have some type of insatiable appetite where they gave into lust or temptation or they were, you know, thinking about status or how they can come up quick or they were thinking about, um, you know, whatever, whatever shallow reasons it was here. It really cost somebody a really loving connection. So someone is heavily thinking about this. They're heavily thinking about this. What else? What else for you guys? Tell me more. Tell me more for the collective here. Woo, spiritual team unstepped up and on the board here. Somebody was trying to get you guys to be in a, in a different timeline, okay? They didn't want you to ascend to a higher timeline. They wanted you wrapped up into a loop with um, the same patterns of a previous person in a new person. Does that make sense? So it's like, if you were dealing with somebody that was... Um, that was cheating and, you know, that had secret addictions and, you know, that was um, very selfish and, and self-absorbed, then either neg negative entities or people actively working against you, okay, spiritually, were trying to send that energy towards you to try to get you in a, in a lower vibrational state. So that is why the divine and his angels have stepped in and the spiritual beings that have charge over you. It says warriors of the light who watch over you from the heavens. They bring you guidance, protection, clarity, and healing, spirit guides, ancestors, etc. So you're heavily protected right now. Because for some of you guys, you definitely did have people that were gang stalking you or you had people where, you know, the minute you go out your door, they're watching to see what you do or people being fed information about you or being fed things to say uh, to you so that they could, you know, take those answers from you and take it back to whatever organization that they're affiliated with. Right. And don't think, oh, because my, you know, I keep my circle real small. No, trust me. There's infiltrators, infiltrators that will make their way through or be offered something to go against you or gather information on you. So there's a lot of people that are under judgment by your spiritual team for their intentions in coming towards you and how they've been dealing with you. <laughs> I can't make it up here bait I feel like this person was baited attempting a seductive offer to lure you into something with a sinister nature playing at your senses to draw you into a trap so just like the angels go to and fro these demonic spirits they, they also watch and they see exactly what's going on so they will in fact Use what they feel are your preferences, you know, what you enjoy, what you like or, or vulnerable states that you're in where you're feeling like you need someone to lean on and support or, um, you know, whatever the situation is. Whoever this is that tried to bait y'all, they're under spiritual judgment. They are. 
that's what I'm saying. But this is also letting you to letting you know to be careful of the offers that it is that you are receiving, especially if you're dealing with somebody that is easily tempted in another direction. You already know that that is someone that is not spiritually strong enough to be with you because this is warrior energy. When you have a calling and you have a purpose, you don't need somebody that is um, easily deterred in multiple directions and confused, okay? Because we already know the devil is the author of confusion. So whether it was an organization or whether it was someone that was doing negative spell work, okay, for some of you, it could even been a group of people, whoever it was that decided that they were going to send either something to bait you or to bait the person that you were dealing with, to tempt you or to tempt the person that you were dealing with, they are all under judgment. They're all under judgment here. That's what I'm seeing. And now somebody is kicking themselves because they're like, damn, I really fell for the okie doke or I really gave into temptation. And it's like I lost the collective. Right. Or for some of you, you could have felt like, well, damn, I really didn't see that coming. This is all about forgiving yourself. Right. For past decisions that you've made with other people. But just know That someone definitely did not have the right intentions that you were dealing with. <laughs> I can't make it up. Look at that. Demonic forces of evil that work to destroy any light, love, and positivity in the world. Shadow forces working behind the scenes. And with this fire energy, for a lot of you, uh, th this was somebody that was using... Um, you know, a lot of times fire is passion, right? So for a lot of you, how they triggered this person or somebody was triggered, they were triggered by lust or they were triggered by devil energy, right? The devil card, the Capricorn card, they were triggered by, um, you know, either shared addictions or, you know, um, for a lot of you, lust and temptation. Yeah, so your spiritual team is coming against these dark forces. Because someone played entirely too much. So whether it was an entity that sent this, or whether it was an organization, or whether it was a scorned-ass lover <laughs> from your past, okay, that was into the dark arts and wanted drama for your love life. I feel like all of that is being returned to sender. Or God is handling it however whichever way he sees fit here. Tell me more. Yeah, we have a stronghold. It says a mental takeover enacted by demonic forces. This may cause addictions, lust, jealousy, fear, worry, anger, insecurity, etc. This is someone that was used to try to create a stronghold in another person's life. So they're going to flash whatever that person is interested in. If they're interested in, um, you know, somebody that has a lot of money, bam, that's what they're going to throw their way. If they're interested in somebody that looks really damn fine, bam, that's what they're going to they're going to throw that person's way. If they're interested in somebody that, um, is just going to be a yes person and agree to everything that they say. Bam, they send that person. So this is letting you know like what was going on behind the scenes here. Damn, fire wanted to come out again. The power of life, death, and rebirth. The energies of passion, creativity, will, strength, perseverance, power, and fertility. Transformative abilities. Actions. This is dark actions and dark intentions that somebody took. And for some of you guys, somebody could have known what they were doing, right? If they were in the arts. Or for others of you, there definitely was a person in your life where... They were tempted, 
in whatever category that was. And so the actions that they took towards you became sinister in nature. Because they could, for some of you, they could have picked up something from whoever it was that they were sleeping together with. Tell me more. <sighs> we have hacking. It says breaching defenses and exploiting the weaknesses of others, prying into your life by means of technology or spiritual methods here. So this is somebody that wanted to come through and um, really find out about you. They wanted to see what you like. They wanted to see what you dislike. They wanted to see your strengths. They wanted to see your weaknesses. And then they flipped and they turned that against you. And, 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 you, and a key indicator of this type of energy will be somebody that will uh, twist what it is you say or throw it back in your face at a later date. I'm hearing a mimicking spirit. That's crazy, y'all. Just know, you're clearing this energy here, okay? And you have forces of light that are with you, and light will always triumph over the dark, okay? The forces of light and everything that's good, fair, peaceful, and loving in the world, forces working to bring peace and salvation to the earth. So if you are moving out of love and light from your heart from the divine, you are on the winning team, right? And you are supported against these dark forces that definitely tried to ugh, create some type of havoc within your life. Yeah, all that is being cleared out. Okay, somebody was trying to play mind games or illusions. That's coming to an end here because you are protected. You see the truth. But now that you see the truth, you know better, you do better, right? <sighs> So put me some hearts down below, y'all. Uh, put me uh, some swords as well, because I feel like your spiritual team is not playing with a person or a group of people here. Love you guys. Namaste.